So this morning we are talking to our old friend, food enthusiast and home cook, Ben Gullet, and we are getting ready for St. Patrick's Day and you've got your green on, Brittany has her green on, I have my blue on because I'm not great at themes. <laughs> you know what, it happens to the best of us. Not me, because, you know, I wore my green, but you know, sure. Right. You're prepared. <laughs> Thank you, Ben. Yes, Appreciate that's all. That's all. I just wanted to point that out. Speaking of prepared, it looks like you have some deliciousness for us. What are we making today? Oh my gosh. So we're, you know, we're gearing up to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. So today we are making a key lime cocktail. So lots of green there. So, you know, if you didn't wear your green today, you could have a green cocktail. That's fine. Yeah. Um, but we're also making shepherd's pie and I love shepherd's pie. I think it's delicious. I think, uh, you know, there's a lot of things that I put on my plate that I don't want to have touched, but shepherd's pie is one of those things that you just pile on and I'm okay with it. Yes. But, uh, you know, traditionally what shepherd's pie is, is not traditional for like St. Patrick's day. It's usually like what, uh, uh, uh corned beef and cabbage. Right. Mm -hmm. That's disgusting. So I uh, just, that's disgusting. I'm so stay, you, Ben. I thank don't you. Like it. Everywhere I've been in the store lately, they are all like, they are shoving the corned beef and the cabbage everywhere. They've ordered way too much for it. So I like shepherd's pie and we're gonna give it a little Irish twist and we're gonna add some, uh, some fun things to it. So here I'm just grounding up some beef. You could do lamb if you like the lamb, but you know, I'm cheap. I like the ground beef, that's fine. A little uh, salt, a little pepper. Uh, I'm gonna add some mixed vegetables here as well. Just kind of bring this all together um, to this. Here's where things get fun. I actually added um, some Southern Recipe small batch pork rinds. They're uh, sea salt and cracked black pepper. Uh, so it's gonna give it a nice little crunchy taste um, and a little bit of a, adds to that sea salt and then that pepper flavor. You could do other flavors. Um, I also like pineapple ancho chili. So it also adds this sort of a unique spice to it as well. You're gonna let this all cook down. It's gonna come together on another pan. Well, if I had another pan, I would be making mashed potatoes, um, but I'm out of pans, I'm out of space. So you're also gonna make mashed potatoes. I like to make mashed potatoes from scratch. You absolutely don't have to, that's okay. Uh, so making up some mashed potatoes, you know, boil the potatoes, mash them down. I, I, I leave the skins on, I like them dirty too. So uh, actually, I guess I'm, what I'm learning from all this is I'm a little lazy. So, you know, <laughs> you mash the mashed potatoes down, uh, add some cream, add some butter, make it delicious. Uh, and then once you've got your meat, you've got your potatoes, you're gonna put it in a nice little uh, serving dish like this. This is, what is this, like a nine by nine? You could do a 13 by nine. Um, you're gonna layer the meat and the vegetables and those pork rinds down at the bottom. And then you're gonna put on a layer of those mashed potatoes. Also to make this a little bit more Irish, actually I added some Irish cheddar to my mashed potatoes Yum. just to kind of give it like a little uh, ooey gooeyness. Yeah. Uh, bake that off in an oven, 400 degrees for about 20, 25 minutes. And then take it out of the oven. I also crunched up some parm crisps. Uh, use the original in this, so it's, we're adding a little bit more cheese flavor to the top. But when you put them on the top, they could get a little burnt. You don't really want that. So last five, 10 minutes of cooking, crushed them up uh, right on top of the mashed potatoes, stuck it back in the oven. And there you've got shepherd's pie. That looks amazing. Thanks. Thank you. Okay, so now, I bring you some. Now we have a key lime what a key lime pie cocktail key lime cocktail key lime pie cocktail heck yeah so what we've got here is we've got our martini glass it's got mostly ice a little bit of water in it cuz i'm really just trying to chill the glass down for this we're actually going to use uh Finster's key lime pie cookies so this is going to be really really good so we're going to take our shaker to this shaker we're going to add uh, about a shot of pineapple juice we're gonna add what some might call too much vodka, but you know, go with the recipe that you wanna go with, that's okay. You're free pouring there, I see, okay. Yes, well, you know, the pineapple juice is really what you wanna measure uh, for, you know, drinking purposes. Right. Vodka, that's gonna be fine. Uh, I kind of freestyle everything. So here's a little bit of vanilla extract, so just a little bit in there. If you were actually measuring it, maybe two teaspoons, not very much, and then, green food coloring because, well, you know, it's St. Patrick's Day. So I'm just gonna do a drop because, okay, I'm not gonna lie to you. I said I did a drop, three drops went in. This might be <laughs> way too green, but that's okay. Oh, well, let's squeeze in some lime juice too, right? Put a little lime juice in there. I'll dump that over there. Gonna mix this up in our handy dandy shaker. Sometimes the lid comes off on me. So I'm really hoping it doesn't. 
It didn't, so that's good. Nice. Got our martini glass. Dump out our ice. We are going to take a little bit of a lime wedge and just go around the edge of our glass. And then with those Fenster's Keen Lime cookies. Yeah, that's going to be our rim. Oh, okay. That's going to be nice, Got right? It. It's going to bring a nice little flavor there to you. That there. And then the drink part. Ooh, Look at that. It's so green. <laughs> it's so green. <laughs> but you know what? St. Patrick's Day. So it's yeah. okay. It's okay. And that's it. So we've done like two great recipes here, all to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. Get these, get our Southern Recipe small batch pork rinds. You can find those at Tractor Supply and you can find Parm Crisp and Fensters at Walgreens. It couldn't be any simpler. Ooh, I'm pretty sure that we're going to need you to take a sip of that, Ben, so that we know that it's delicious yeah. and then you have an excuse to drink at work. You're welcome. Thank you. Yes, yes. For work. <laughs> Taking one for the team. It's hard. Hard being me. Oh, that actually is really good. Um, <laughs> He's like, oh. You know, yeah, yeah. You don't you don't taste as much of the green food coloring as you might think, but <laughs> those that vanilla and pineapple juice. And there's something else in there. I just can't I can't put my finger on it. You should yeah, probably I, try I some put more. My finger right on it. There, there, I can put my finger on it. It's just fine. <laughs> mm. 